BBC Breakfast viewers were greeted with an unfamiliar face on Sunday following Naga Manchetti's unexplained absence from the programme. BBC Breakfast fans were delighted as an unfamiliar face sat on the red sofa. Sunday's instalment, May 19, of the BBC programme saw Ben Thompson and Luxmi Gopal share the top headlines with viewers. Luxmi rarely presents BBC Breakfast but is a regular on BBC News. Luxmi's appearance certainly got viewers talking as they took to social media to welcome her return. One wrote, hashtag the breakfast, nice to see the beautiful Luxmi Gopal presenting again such a natural. A second agreed, she's my favourite presenter, lovely person. The broadcaster also announced her BBC breakfast stint on social media, sharing a snap of herself in the studio alongside Ben on X, formerly Twitter. Alongside the photo she penned, Good morning from the at BBC Blu-ray fast team. P.S. at Ben Thompson TV isn't that tiny, that's just how big the studio is. Fans raced to the comments as they gushed over her BBC breakfast return, with one writing, Always great to see you on the big red sofa, Luxme. Another said, Absolutely fabulous. Luxme's stint on the red sofa comes after Naga Manchetti's unexplained absence from the show. The 49-year-old usually presents BBC Breakfast from Thursday to Saturday alongside Charlie State, but was nowhere to be seen this week. The newsreader was replaced by Nina Warhurst across all three days. Naga's absence was noticed by viewers as they questioned where she was on social media. One asked, Where is Naga this week? Nice to see Nina on the sofa with Charlie. Another person chimed in, Anyone see Naga Manchetti? I think I'm actually missing her today. Hashtag BBC Breakfast. Other fans were delighted that Nina was at the helm. One person praised her, saying, At BBC Breakfast, isn't it lovely to see Nina back on breakfast to what a delightful morning? A second shared, I'm actually able to enjoy later week at BBC Breakfast broadcasts now. Thank you at Nina Warhurst for being there. Long may it last.